Hello friends and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna teach you how you can do this. Or this. All in DaVinci Resolve 18 using the magic mask. Let's go. Okay, let's go straight into the computer. So we have our clip selected here. So normally what you're going to do most of the time, you will use this effect, the magic mask, when you will want to put a text behind an object, in this case, our microphone or behind a subject. Okay, so I'm going to start by teaching you and showing you exactly how it's done. So we have a live example, not just some stock footage. OK, so first things first, we need to duplicate this clip over here. For this, what we're going to do, first of all, I'm going to come here and just um, lock this uh, audio track here so I can easily press Option on my Mac or Alt on your Windows computer and just drag this up just like this. So I have to drag it up like this. And then this is our text already prepared for the sake of this tutorial to not waste any time. This is the text. This is the clip we need to add magic mask on. So what are we going to do next? We're going to go straight away to our color page over here, press color page. And this is our clip. And what we're going to do. So we have to go to this icon over here. It's called magic mask. If you're going to keep your mouse for one second there, it's going to show magic mask. All right, click on it. And then next, what you will be presented with is this uh, droppers over here. This eyedroppers, this is plus, this is minus. So you have object selection and you have person mask. OK, so uh, normally what we're going to do, we'll use for the first example, we use our object mask because we need to mask this microphone over here. So the text comes easily just like this in behind this microphone. All right. So um, let me show you what other options are here. This is invert the mask and this is to show uh, when you made the selection. You're going to see it in a sec. Here we have quality, faster, better. You'll see how it works in a second. Right. Let's go straight into this. All right. So I've uh, clicked already on my object mask over here. I've got my uh, eyedropper here with plus. So what you have to do is incredibly simple. You just have to make a stroke on the object you want to select. And by magic, you will see what's happening. What's happening? Well, what's happening? Nothing is happening. You know why? Because as I told you before, here is our um, mask overlay that is not toggled on. We need to toggle it on. On, you see, straight away, DaVinci Resolve makes magic and this is selected. So basically, my text is going to come somewhere from here. It's going to come over here, slide to here. So. Well, I don't really need to go too far, but just uh, to show you how it works, you can put another stroke here. You can make another stroke here. You have another stroke here, just like this. And then let's see how it looks like. You see, it missed a little portion here, you see. But let me first of all click on better here, see if it does a better job. Excellent. You see, it makes a much better job. But now what we're going to do, we'll have to remove this uh, masking from there. And for this, we're going to use this eyedropper with minus. Click on it and go on this portion over here and make another stroke. So the stroke is going to be red to show you that it removed from the mask that portion there. Excellent. Right. So <laughs> this, the job is pretty much done. Now what we have to do, we need to track this portion of the masking. And for this, you will have to go over here, right? So this is our reference frame, right? And then from this point, you can track it forward, you can track it backwards, or you can track both. So the easiest way to do it is track both. DaVinci Resolve is going to make magic by tracking both forwards and backwards. So now it go forwards and when it finishes, it's going to go backwards. All right. So it's done. Now what you need to do, it's very, very, very important to make sure you can put the text underneath. You have to create an alpha output. So just click here, right? Right click on the mouse and click alpha output and then drag this dot from here connect the line to the alpha output. Now we have our um, mask and we have our overlay there so we can put the text behind the microphone. So for this, what we need to do here, the job is done. Go back to your edit page. So we've got this clip over here where we put our magic mask and then we need to drag the text over there. And let's see 
where the text should start. So when I turn my head just there like that, the text appears, which is good. So now what we need to do, we need to track this text. So click on the text, go on the right hand corner and click on this diamond over here. So now we'll start tracking. We'll move, we'll move the play head just when my head goes there and then we take the position of the text and we move it to the right exactly where I want it. Right, let's have a look. It's a bit slow. For this, what we need to do, we need to come over here. Just, just get this point over here. Right. And move it a bit closer. Let's have a look now. All right, so needs to start tracking a bit early. So move this to the right. So it's going to start earlier to track. Okay. It starts, starts too early. That's the problem. So move it to the right again, even more. That's good. Let's try a bit more. And if you put this, that's good. So now I show you, if you go with this a point here up and down, it's going to go left or right. This is good. And then this one again, if you move it up and down, it's going to show you the last position. Okay. And then what we're going to do, we can soften a bit the beginning and soften a bit the ending. That's good. I like that. You can play with it. All right. So I'm going to make it to come a bit, a bit just like there. Let's just try again. Nice. Very good. I like that. Let's go to the next clip over there. It's our person uh, magic mask. So for this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this uh, clip over here. So my audio track is locked as it should be. I'm going to press option again, right? And drag this clip up just like that. Okay. So we're going to create another clip and we're going to put the magic mask on top of this clip. All right. All right. Let's go straight into our color page. This is our clip and let's create our reference frame. So I want it, I want it here. So my head goes up and then comes down. So I want my reference frame to start here. So for this, we're going to use a uh, person's uh, mask. Uh, most of the time you'll use person's mask when you want the separate features like, you know, arms, face, hair, hat, legs, shoes, all that stuff. You will want to use a person's uh, mask. And most of the time I uh, use both, uh, depending which one works better for me. So you have to experiment with this. But for the sake of the tutorial, let's use the person's mask. OK, so when you go to your person's mask, make sure that you've got not the features selected, but the person. Otherwise, DaVinci Resolve is going to try and look for the features like, you know, head, arms, face, whatever. So make sure it's the person, the entire person is selected. Use the plus eyedropper and just try from here like this. I do a one small one so I don't confuse the program. And I'm going to use the eyedropper and remove this side over here. Right. Excellent. And I'm going to do better. OK, so it does a quite incredible job even. Um, you know, unmasking this side over there. Right. Excellent. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to track backwards and forwards and see what's going to happen. See, it made an incredible job. You see here, you see that this is good. This is good. This is the blue. This is the red. Obviously, this is the red stroke that unmasks the thing. That's why it's red. So what we have to do next again, create an alpha output, create the dot. Excellent. OK, let's go and deal with the second text. Let's go to edit page. This is our uh, text over here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this up just like this and add my second text, which is here, just like this. So now you see what's what happened here now is that I've created this mask over here. So for this, I need to go back. 
we need to go back to this clip over here here to this minus and do a minus here do a minus there and do a minus here do a minus here and do a minus here so i don't want this sides uh mask okay so i'll have to track again so i need the mask to work only on this side you see this is this is so cool this is incredible so you can actually mask half the person and what's incredible about this is that this is a real life example on a real set you know where maybe the light is not perfect maybe the background is not lit perfectly it's not like this is a stock footage made by professionals and these are the conditions you will work with this text and i think this is a, a, a pretty good example on how this magic uh, mask works and honestly i think it makes miracles it's real real magic so my mask is ready now i'm gonna go back to my edit page and see how it goes you see now it's perfect now i have a mask here that works and i have a mask up that works as well hello friends and welcome back to a new video today i'm gonna teach you how you can do this or this all in DaVinci Resolve 18 using the magic mask. Let's go. And this is it, friends. This is how easy and fast to create a magic mask in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you found this video interesting and useful and you got some value out of it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel and it motivates me to create even more videos like this and even better day by day. I really appreciate you being here and thank you so, so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.